When I was eight, he was gunned down. Not a single peep came out of me. It's like my body felt numb, as if I stopped breathing. I walked over miles and miles of hot desert, went days without food in my stomach. Even saw my siblings get sent away for slavery. But nothing, nothing made me drop to my knees as fast as I did as watching my own father get gunned down and struggle for his last survival of breath. I lived in a country where war, discrimination, neglecting basic human needs was a way of life. Some call it abuse, we call it life. The first civil war broke out in 1955 to 1972. That's 17 years of war, 17 long years of war. Half a million people died over misrepresentation and regional takeover. And not long after the first civil war ended, the second civil war began from 1983 to 2005. That's 22 years, 22 more years of war, 22 more years of starvation, of drought, of disease, of dislocation of villages, uneducated mind of young children. 22 years of struggle. Just like millions, my father never got to live to the day to see his nation, the day his nation will be free. My father never got to live to see the independence of his nation. I remember him praying every day and every night for the day that his nation will be free. But now I realize that it's up to me and it's up to you to take advantage of this opportunity. It is up to us to take charge, to motivate each other, to challenge one another, to open our minds to all the possibilities. It is our land, it is our home. Envision life's true worth. It is time to break the chain of violence, to celebrate our heritage, our history, to embrace the people we are. So let us celebrate. Thank you. Thank you.